What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. We've been getting a lot of comments from viewers asking us to tour more reasonably priced properties and that's what we're doing today. The property right behind me is a collection of four newly constructed residences in the heart of Hollywood and located on 813 North McAdam Place. The residence we'll be touring today has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, 2,435 square feet, and prices for these residences start at $1,595,000. And before we get started, I wanna thank all the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing development. Let's go take a look. We have Santa Barbara smooth stucco finish throughout and I like the black glass details throughout the property. Let's go through this cobblestone shared driveway that leads to the four residences. We have a nice little gate right here that secures the entire complex and I want to talk about this detail. So each of these residences are tri-level single family homes. I say single family because this property was built under small lot subdivision ordinance. And if you guys come closely here, there's actually an air gap between each home and there's a corrugated metal right here separating the each residences. So they are all individual single family homes. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna to be touring residence number three. So let's go in. All right, first detail I like, keypad lock. It's nice, you can leave your key at home and you can access your home through this, which is really cool. Now, let's go through this door, which is your two car garage, nice epoxy floors, has a door that gives you access from the rear and each of these homes have two car garages, so it's pretty cool. Back to the hallway. So we have a room here currently staged as an office. Could qualify as a bedroom, but it doesn't have a closet. Here's another cool detail. This one also has a door opening to the rear and there's a sidewalk right here you can access from the street. What, what's great about this is you can use it as an office and people can come to your office without having to go through the house. And this room also has a full walk-in shower, vanity, the whole setup that you would need. So we're going back to the hallway so we can take the stairs to go up to the second floor. All right. Second level, this is your living space, your kitchen area, this is where you hang out. I'm gonna start this way. We have a beautiful island here, waterfall edge, quite good size. I like the Edison bulb, pendant lights, cool vent over there. Let's keep the focus this way. This is one of your pantry spaces and this is where your kitchen cabinetry continues. Nice backsplash, big picture window right in front of the sink. I personally really like this faucet the texture on the handle as well. Mikey, why don't you come closer so you can see this detail. So the modern sink, ha the sink has this edge that you can put inserts on, like strainers and things like that, that you can move and slide on the each side, which is really cool. Then your countertop space continues here. A lot of cabinetry space. I like the hardware and the Italian cabinetry they used, such as these. I love, I love these, these uh... What, these what, what details. are these even called? Lazy Susan. Lazy Susans. That's right. It, you can get the best out of your space. And over here we have the Bosch vent, Bosch gas stove, and your Bosch built-in oven. Pretty much all you would need. And lastly, more pantry space. Everybody needs them. Like I mentioned, this is a tri-level single family home. So this is where you have your entertainment area, Right across from your kitchen, you have your dining room area, which is pretty good considering the fact that these are uh, you know, small lot subdivision single family homes. This is your living room area, a lot of window details, some awning windows to get ventilation. Another detail I wanna talk about is a lot of our viewers always leave us a comment saying, is there any window treatments uh, or curtains for the windows? And for the most part, developers don't put any of those finishes. But in this case, developer actually put all the window treatments. They wanted the space to feel as ready as possible. Lastly, on this floor, we have a balcony. You live in California, weather's 
pretty, pretty great for the most part. And that means you don't need air conditioning. You can simply uh, leave your windows open. When you have balconies like this, that allows you to put sliders. That means you can get more ventilation through. So it's always a great plus if you can have balcony spaces. Another detail that I like is to bring a little bit of a pop of color. They use these wood look tiles on the balconies to kind of bring a little bit of warmth to that balcony area. Yeah, I like how many windows they were able to fit out here also. Quite a bit, quite a bit. You know, these modern homes are all about natural light. So the more windows you can put, the better. And one more detail on this floor. If we go up these little stairs here, there's a powder room that serves your living room area. Nice floating vanity. I like the color contrast here as well and a cool light fixture. Again, this is the half bathroom that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Perfect for the living room area. And that wraps up our tour for this level. Now we're taking the stairs to go check out all the bedrooms. floor a little bit of a balcony off of the third floor landing this balcony is for basically the two bedrooms we're gonna see next but from here you can actually get a little bit of views of the Hollywood Hills again a lot of ventilation this is higher than the property next door so you get a lot of natural light as well back to the hallway the same hardwood floors on the first floor and second floor also continue on this level as well right here we have the bedroom number one nice and bright they're a little bit on the compact side you get actually views of the hills from here a little bit and you have your closet space on this side mikey why don't we show them these are the nice track systems that we you know they've installed and back to the hallway we have the second bedroom right next door this one is a little bit bigger again you get a little bit views of the hollywood hills nice natural light good size room and this one the closet door is a barn door. You gotta put a little twist to this. I love barn doors. I love them too. They give a little bit of character, nice black hardware as well. And these two bedrooms share this bathroom right here. Pretty straightforward, floating vanity, tile tub setup, but they use a good size tub here and pretty much it. I know you gotta like that uh, barn door glass right there. That's true, actually. Mike, you wanna get come close. I like the hardware right here. They could have gone for a more simpler choice, but you know, having a little bit of hardware detail is always nice. And right here we have the washer and dryer set up for all the three bedrooms. So the next one is the master bedroom. Why don't you guys come on in? A lot of natural light, nice and bright, a good size room. And we have the walk-in closet here, nice and paneled. And I like these track systems because you can adjust the shelves the way you would like it. And lastly, since we're working around small spaces, these pocket doors, Always come in handy if you want to seal off your um, closet. Right next to that is the master bathroom. Nice floating vanity here and a walk-in shower. I like the marble niche on the shampoo niche and also on the floors, rain head, body spray, pretty much all you would need. So back to the master bedroom. Another detail I want to talk about is we live in California. We have good weather. Again, having balconies can be a big plus and in this case the way they position this balcony is great because you can leave it open during the night and your bed is situated in a way that no one from the outside will be able to see you you'll get nice ventilation this is a balcony for the master bedroom so it's private and again same wood tile finishes are also on this balcony as well all right and since uh this is a smaller property than we're used to touring everyone knows that we like long videos i thought i'd sit you down and ask you a couple questions Sounds good. Uh, what would you say is the advantage of having something like this over a condo? And why isn't this a condo? What makes this different from a condo? First of all, you don't have HOAs. You don't have homeowners association. There's a little bit of a maintenance fee, somewhere around $100, where it's being spent to maintain the rest of the property on the outside. Number two, um, less neighbors, less problems, right? There's only four residences here. Number three, they don't share walls. So technically it is a single family home. You'll own from the first floor all the way to the top floor. And historically, single family homes tend to appreciate much better over condos. So overall, in my opinion, 
these single family residences are better packages over condominiums. So who do you see as a buyer for a property like this? Is someone young, someone older? I think a buyer for a property like this is gonna be someone young who wants to be in the heart of the city, who wants to be able to walk to amenities and get the space kind of in a discounted price because if you wanted to get this much square footage on a single family home, on a, on a lot by itself, you're looking at least um, $2.5 million. So this is a discounted option. You still get the qualities of a single family home, yet you pay a discounted price. Last question. Uh, most everyone that I know in LA rents and I've kind of been trying to convince my brother to buy a place. He rents in Santa Monica. How would I, how would I convince my brother to buy a place? What are, what are the advantages of buying? Let me use this property as an example. Uh, renting a home like this is gonna run you around $7,000 a month versus if you do get a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, your mortgage payments are gonna be somewhere around $7,000 a month as well. So it's better to just use that $7,000 a month as your mortgage payment and build an equity on a property that you actually own. So the people out there who can actually afford to get a mortgage, I would recommend them to buy their own place rather than renting. All right, well, that's all I got. Pretty, uh, pretty cool place. Um, let us know how y'all liked uh, a home at a lower price point. $1.5 million. Uh, I'd say this is by far the best home we've toured at this price. We toured another million dollar home, but uh, it was way out in the valley. It didn't really, it didn't really compare to this one. I agree. I agree. And if you guys want us to feature more reasonably priced properties, uh, we are happy to do that. Let us know in the comment section below. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions, comments, inputs, always leave us a comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We tour incredible properties every single week. Um, again, I want to thank all the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing development. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.